Welcome to Utah State University's Vertebrate Paleontology course. My name is Benjamin Berger. In this lecture, we will examine the hypothetical basic vertebrate body plan and relate this body plan to the various known fossils from the Xinjiang fossil site in China. In 1847, the English anatomist and paleontologist Richard Owen published an important monograph called On the Archetype and Homologies of the Vertebrate Skeleton. This is several years before the publication of Charles Darwin's Origin of Species in 1859. Owen constructed an archetype, a hypothetical organism that defined all the key components common to all vertebrate animals. He viewed this archetype as the quintessential vertebrate. This is before the discovery of evolution. So he had no knowledge of the ability of species morphology to change over long spans of evolutionary time. So he did not view this archetype as a hypothetical ancestor to vertebrates like we do today. If we look at Owen's archetype of vertebrates, we see a familiar creature in many ways. It resembles Amphioxus with a notochord, segmented muscles, a gut tube with a stomach, and gills. But with the addition of a heart, expanded brain, eyes, and a more expanded tail. Let's use this archetype of vertebrates to examine the incredible fossil record from the early Cambrian Xinjiang fossil site dated 530 million years ago in southern China. These fossils are found in the Mao Tian Shen shales and preserve the impressions of soft body creatures in detail, allowing us to view into the animals and plants that lived in the ocean 530 million years ago. One of the most interesting fossils from the Xinjiang fossil site is Chenk Oklava. This tiny creature resembles modern sea squirts in having a large chamber, a pharynx, a gut tube, and a siphon for pumping water and filtering it for food. Chenk Oklava has a holdfast, indicating that like modern sea squirts, this eucordate was a sessile creature living on the ocean floor. In addition to these fossil eucordates are a series of interesting animals that appear to resemble Owen's archetype of vertebrates, which includes haiku ichthys, which exhibits segmented muscles, myotomes, a notochord, gills, and a slender dorsal fin. Unlike modern Amphioxus, the notochord does not extend to the tip of the head. So this creature is placed within the formal grouping Chordata. But there were more chordates from the fossil site, including Hycuella, which exhibits strange segments along the dorsal portion of the creature with a dorsal nerve cord. One of the most interesting discoveries is Yunga Zona, which has a large dorsal fin, clear mouth structure, and external gill slits. This creature is one of the most advanced chordates of the Cambrian. It truly is beginning to look like an actual vertebrate animal. All that's missing is the ossification of the spinal column. This creature and other creatures like it lived 530 million years ago. They measure only a few centimeters, but these animals would later evolve into the great diversity of vertebrate animals living today, of birds and dinosaurs and humans, all from a humble little worm-like creature that lived 530 million years ago. One of the more interesting discussions that has emerged in the recent years is that through the fossilization process, many of the soft tissue structures that help us define chordates is often lost. 
with this loss, paleontologists are more likely to recognize these as more primitive than they actually were in life. The exquisite detail of these fossils from Xinjiang do show that a new and diverse group of animals were emerging during the early Cambrian. Owen's archetype for vertebrates was indeed an ancestral organism, more diverse than we, he had ever imagined. And these discoveries continue to verify the theory of evolution. So now you can construct the hypothetical basic vertebrate body plan and relate this body plan to the various known fossils from the Xinjiang fossil site. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Utah State University's geology program, check out the website geology.usu.edu or my own website at benjamin The links are below in the descriptions.